So today was the big day. The day the man who was widely seen as the strongest potential competitor to former President Trump in the 2024 Republican primary. Today was the day this guy entered the race. It is the biggest day of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's political career so far. The biggest day, certainly, since he first stepped out on the national stage in 2018 as a candidate for Florida governor. Everyone knows my husband, Ron DeSantis, is endorsed by President Trump, but he's also an amazing dad. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. People say Ron's all Trump, but he is so much more. Big league. So good. That ad was from way back in 2018 when DeSantis was positioning himself as a Trump understudy, someone who knew all the lyrics, who had studied all the lines, just hadn't gotten the lead yet. And that ad very much encapsulates the essential problem DeSantis faces as he tries to beat Trump in the primary, something Donald Trump himself seems to recognize. Now, think back to the Republican primary from 2016. You had Jeb Bush and you had John Kasich and you had Chris Christie and Marco Rubio, who like to th think of themselves as sort of the moderate centrist pro-business conservatives. You had Mike Huckabee, the Christian social conservative who was big on fighting culture wars. Remember that he didn't think women should use curse words. You had the farther right Tea Party adjacent Ted Cruz and libertarian Rand Paul. And I'm not going to go through all of the candidates for, because there were <laughs> approximately 69 of them in that race. But the point is, they all had at least somewhat distinct identities, personalities of some kind that they were selling that you could use to compare. But now that the Republican Party more or less is Donald Trump, not his ideas or his policies, but the cult of personality Trump has built up as the MAGA movement, now that that is the reality of the GOP, how does someone like Ron DeSantis distinguish himself? It's not like he can run more ads of himself building walls and showing off his kids in MAGA onesies. Well, today was DeSantis' big opportunity to present himself to the country as a contender. He did it at a little past 6 p.m. in an unprecedented way, announcing it live on Twitter with Twitter's owner, one of the richest men in the world, Elon Musk. And here is how that gigantic headline moment for Ron DeSantis began this evening. All right. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, everyone, depending on wherever in the world you're joining us from. I'm broadcasting live from David from Twitter headquarters. It's David Sachs here. Uh, Elon is sitting next to me. And we want to welcome you to this historic Twitter Spaces event, and more broadly, a first in the history of social media. Uh, tonight, I'm pleased to introduce two individuals who've done more to loosen the group. That was a big kickoff. That, that was it. Now, I know this is Elon Musk's Twitter. The man who famously hyped one of his cars as having bulletproof windows just to have those windows break at the car's big launch. But this was Ron DeSantis's presidential campaign launch. And for 21 long minutes, it was mainly just this. All right. Sorry about that. We, we've got so many people here that I think we are, we are uh, kind of melting the servers, uh, which is a good sign. Let's see. So we are. Yeah, I think so. Um, just to simplify this, I think we're just going to use your. There's 392,000 people in the room. All right, great. So let's see. So if they just keep crashing, huh? Yeah, I think we've got <laughs> a, just a massive number of people online, so it's um, servers are straining somewhat. Um, okay, I think we're back online here. Right. Um, all right. Well, it's certainly uh, an, an incredible honor to uh, have Governor DeSantis uh, make this uh, stark announcement.
False start after false start after false start after false start for 21 long minutes. And as for that hype that it was so many people that it was melting the servers, it was barely more than tuned in to watch Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez play the video game Among Us on a random night in 2020 on the platform Twitch. But you know, servers are melting down. That's how popular Governor DeSantis is. Can you believe the excitement? Just a brutal start to a presidential campaign. Truly unprecedented. Now, lucky for Mr. DeSantis, that was not the only part of his launch today. He also released this much more traditional ad. In Florida, we proved that it can be done. We chose facts over fear, education over indoctrination, law and order over rioting and disorder. We held the line when freedom hung in the balance. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. There's a lot to get into there, but there is notably no mention of Donald Trump. There is no one in a MAGA onesie, and no one is quoting apprentice lines, and no one is building walls out of cardboard blocks. So those days where Ron DeSantis played understudy to Donald Trump, those days seem to be over. In fact, Governor DeSantis at this point would probably rather you forget about that whole understudy thing. Donald Trump, however, would not. He would very much like you to remember that 2018 Ron DeSantis ad and what it says about the man who is now running against Trump. And so Trump dropped this video minutes after the epic DeSantis Twitter launch fail. Trump's support was so powerful, just days after the endorsement, DeSantis took a commanding lead that propelled him to being elected governor. I'd like to thank our president for standing by me when it wasn't necessarily the smart thing to do. You're welcome, Ron. Unfortunately, instead of being grateful, DeSantis is now attacking the very man who saved his career. Isn't it time DeSantis remembers how he got to where he is? Make America great again. Build the wall. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. Truth is, there's only one person who can make America great again. What a night.